Hi everyone, I am Dr. Kartika Krishna Kumar, Consultant Endodontist and Director at Meteo Multispecialty Dental and Polyclinic, located at Vidyanipura, Bangalore. Have you experienced swollen gums? So then it is a sign of an underlying issue such as gum disease or an infection. There are many effective home remedies for swollen gums and basic oral hygiene measures which may prevent swollen gums. Anyone experiencing swollen gums should see a dentist for a full diagnosis and a correct treatment. Numerous issues can lead to swollen gum problem. Most of them relate to oral health or complications from oral health issues. There are few common causes for swollen gums which are food particle getting stuck in between teeth and sometimes lodging in the gums. This can easily cause irritation and swelling in the area. Most of the time these symptoms do not last longer and will go away once the food particle which is stuck is been removed. The main common cause is the gingivitis which is a stage of gum disease that causes irritation and swelling in the gums. A person may not know that they are having gingivitis and only feel mild pain or sensitivity. However, the treatment is very important for the gingivitis as it is a curable disease if done at the right time. Without treatment, the gingivitis may progress and develop into a periodontal condition known as periodontitis which can eventually result in loss of tooth structure. Next cause is during the pregnancy. As there is a hormonal changes, there will be changes in your gum conditions because of rapid fluctuations in the hormone scene which can cause fluctuation in blood flow to the gums resulting in the swollen gum. The next is the infection which may occur in mouth and lead to issues such as swelling in the gum. Complications from infected teeth such as abscess may also lead to the swelling particularly at an area of the gums. Some other health issues may also cause gum swelling though they may be less common. The possible causes are side effects of some medication malnutrition, sensitivity to oral products such as ingredients in paste or mouthwash and wearing of poorly or ill-fitting dentures or other dental appliances or processes. In any of the mentioned case, the dentist will review the person's other symptoms and signs and also the medical history to determine the underlying issue. Seeing a dentist for a regular checkup and cleaning may help identify and prevent the oral health issues before they cause problem. The type of medication or the treatment or the procedure the dentist recommends will depend on the underlying cause. So how to prevent it? There are certain methods which will help us preventing the swollen gum such as brush regularly at least twice each day, floss regularly, use of gentle oral care products such as soft bristle toothbrush, fluoridated toothpaste and mouthwashes, avoiding sugary drinks and carbonated drinks as they contribute to bacteria building in the mouth, avoid tobacco, smoking or chewing, avoid alcohol and alcoholic mouthwashes as the alcohol may dry the oral condition and irritate the gum, avoid sharp food such as chips, popcorn which may get stuck in between the teeth and cause the it is important to see that these tips are only supplement to a proper diagnosis and treatment. Swollen or irritated gums typically signal an underlying issue. Ignoring the symptoms may make the issue worse in a long term. There are certain home remedies which can help you in emergency cases. Although maintaining a good oral hygiene will protect against the health problems in many cases, issue may still occur. There are certain home remedies which will help in reducing the swollen gums which are like salt water using the salt water rinse may promote oral health and reduce the uh, inflammation in the gum. Rinsing up to three times each day may help in reducing the swelling temporarily. Next is the use of essential oil. Certain essential oils may promote good oral health. Mouthwashes containing essential oil reduces the plaque and inflammation in the gums reducing the gingivitis. Before using any mouthwash containing essential oil to treat the swelling in gums, people should check to be sure that if it does not contain other harsh ingredients such as alcohol. These ingredients may irritate the gum further. There are other items like aloe vera which have shown to have certain better effects on the swollen gums thereby reducing the inflammation. Turmeric which is an, a yellow spice most commonly used in Indian dishes also help to reduce the inflammation. So these are the home remedies which can be attended at home. Although home remedies may help reducing the gum swelling temporarily 
they are not a substitute for diagnosis and treatment from a health professional underlying condition may lead to serious complication anyone experiencing swollen gums should see a dentist for full diagnosis and a proper treatment swollen gums are a common issue and in general they are not a cause for concern however swollen gum that lasts for longer than 1 to 2 days may be a sign of an underlying issue such as gingivitis periodontitis or a tooth abscess and also along with fever can cause a serious complication and hence a person should consult the dentist immediately